name is Gabriel. Um, I'm at Crescent Valley High School in the glass arts room slash ceramics room. It's mostly Eastwood's room, but Moses does glass in here, so yeah. Um, these are the tools that we use for blowing glass. Um, we're working with hard glass for this situation. Um, these are the glasses we wear. These are will cut the glare out of the flame because when you use the flame, it's um, about, we use these because it's really bright once you put glass in there. These are different, these are a little different. They're better for your eyes because they have a welder's tint on there. So they're dark, but they will protect your eyes. Um, when you use these glasses, never put them face down on the table because they're about $300 a pair and it sucks when they get scratched. Um, we use tweezers for like just moving hot pieces of glass around. Um, we have two sizes of tweezers, um, your preference, longer is sometimes nicer so you don't burn yourself. This is the sparker to use the sparker, so we push down and over and it makes sparks, sometimes you can get big ones. Um, we put this under the flame and we go like so, you don't put it over the flame because then you'll snuff it out. You go right underneath and it'll light that up. Um, this is a plate, um, all the tools that we use are graphite, some of them are steel but most of them are graphite. Um, it's literally just like a giant pencil, like you can write, uh, my, I don't have a good skin for writing, but oh, this piece of metal that we can write on, it's, I don't know if you can see if it's a really bad smiley piece. So yeah, the graphite tools are kind of expensive and fragile, so don't drop them, just be careful with them. It's always a good idea to have a plate. So yeah, we have two kinds of torches. This is an internal mix torch, it's where the, the, um, there's two color lines here, there's a red and a green. They come up and they mix inside here, and then they come out already mixed. Um, yeah, this is the external torch mix, and you turn gas on, and gas comes out, and then oxygen comes out, and they mix out in the open air. There's, a, if you can see closely, there's a bunch of little rings in there. The outer ring is oxygen, and the inner ones are gas, and then inside is more oxygen, and then more gas. So it kind of alternates in there. So yeah. Um, we use these for holding glass. There's bigger ones. I think there's a small one. We use this like so to put the glass away. The glass that we use is it's a hard glass with a cone of 33, I believe. That's a um, coefficient of expansion. Um, if you take a class from Moses, that's, you will need to know that. It comes up on a test. To hold the glass, we wrap it like so. There's two sizes. Pre preferably, I like the small one. The big one's nice too. Wrap small finger, other fingers can go lightly, and you can spin like so. You can practice. Um, so like when you're in a flame, you're spinning, you have to keep it spinning because it turns to like lava up here. And if you stop, lava is a liquid, it will just drip all over the table. So if you keep it, keep it spun, it'll stay all in there. When you're melting the glass, if you go like this, it'll melt onto itself to make a marble if you want. Or you go like this, it'll melt away from yourself to try to kind of stretch the glass. So that works good. You can also do underhand that's like this, um, but it's all preferable, like what kind of shoes you like to wear. So yeah, um, two kinds of glass. So yeah, thanks for watching.